Now I'm going to show you what we use on a daily basis. So this is git-scm.com and here you can see that git is a free and open source version control system and here you can download it for Windows. So all of this. So it goes in C program files in git. Okay, click next and now see this is the integration option I was looking for in GitHub desktop software. So it's already done so I want all git related files to be open from this git software and not from github if I want to use that software I will but let's just say next and uh, next again and you can use vim but I'm going to use notepad plus plus since I don't have it it just said oops you don't have that so and I don't have others either so let's just click on nano for now click next and then command line all right it will add so it will add these wrappers to our path variable there uh, I showed you the path variable a while ago all right so let's just click next and use open SSL library click next again windows style this is just use minty let's just use windows default console window click install all right so as you can see the git setup has completed now we can launch git bash or just i'm not going to launch anything at all now we are going to open our windows terminal preview and check whether this time we can use the git command or not so just type git and yes since it is showing that oh you did not do uh, you did not type anything else other than git so these are the things that you can type with git so here it is now I'm going to just clone my repo into a pair folder okay so let's create a new folder on our desktop so I'm just going to navigate to my desktop and uh, then create a folder let's say git example okay so now we have a new folder named git underscore example as you can see there now what I want to do is I want to pull my repository from my github.com let's open chrome type github.com and I'm currently logged in so I want to pull this particular repository on my local machine as you can see it has these files this is from PC I've just created it and because I'm going to start a flask web series so stay tuned for that so I just want to clone that one to here so what I can do is just type git clone and then you can click on clone or download and then use this I have created SSH keys and I'm going to show you how to create SSH keys in a while but this is the default method but via HTTPS so I'm just going to click here copy this repo and just paste it in this terminal so currently it is going to clone on the desktop which I don't want I want it to be cloned in git underscore example folder so let's press enter and as you can see it's currently cloning it and uh, it's done cloning so let's open that folder it's on desktop and then git example so all of these files are now here so let's create another file let's create a text document uh, git success let's type anything there like git is a success all right let's save that and now there are some commands that you must know in order to get started with git so the first command is to learn the status of your git repo so let's cd into our git folder and uh, let's say git status and it is showing us then we have untracked file of git success.txt see it has created dot git folder when we clone the repo this git folder keeps track of all the files that are currently above it put a new files into this 
so currently it says that we have one file that is currently untracked so what do you want to do we want to add that file sorry about that git success dot txt anyways so let's press enter and now let's type git status and now the red color has turned to green which tells us that there's a new file that's currently needs to be committed so i'm going to type git commit dash m for typing a message let's say added success file all right and that particular message is going to be separated by double inverted commas now let's press enter and it is showing us that we have one file changed okay so now let's push this change to our online repo git push origin master this will push this change to get online let's press enter and as you can see it has tried to push that file and it has opened the github login page here you just need to type in your credentials and it has successfully pushed that change so let's refresh this page and we have git success on our online repo